je vais faire une annonce maintenant. Si cette vidéo là oui. que tu es en train de regarder, qu'on est en train de filmer, oui. atteint les 20 000 likes et 10 000 comments, moi, je vais acheter une de ces voitures. Non Finally, finally guys, you've just seen a little bit of a recap of what's been going on over the last few months and by the title and the thumbnail, you know that I have bought another car. Now if you follow my French channel, you maybe would have followed this story a little bit more and what you just saw was a little bit of a recap of what happened. So I'm going to narrate it now, we'll put some overlays and explain the whole story. I'm currently in Paris, we're just driving to a meeting right now, so if you thought you were going to be seeing the car, or seeing a first drive video or anything like that in this video, you, you know, we're not going to be going to see it, but we will show you images of the car and footage from when we went to see it before I bought it. So um, yeah, we're not going to be driving it yet today, but hopefully the collection day should be in not too, too long. It all started a few months ago. When I was making a video about supercars that you can buy for under 50,000 euros. Um, so there was the Bentley Continental GT, Aston Martin uh, Vantage, Maserati Gran Turismo, Audi R8 and Porsche 997. Now, did this video and at the end of it, super spontaneously, uh, I mean, you were there, you can vouch for this, it was yeah. not planned at all. I said, and because our French channel at the time was pretty new, I said 20,000 likes and 10,000 comments. If we get that, I will purchase or buy one of these cars. Obviously thinking, you know, this is this is basically impossible. I think we had like 20 or 30,000 subscribers at the time. So I was like getting 20,000 likes is just, it's not gonna happen. Anyways, it, it did somehow. Some, some miracle meant that it was shared a lot, that video, and we ended up getting those likes in a couple of days and comments. So I was like, oh wow, okay. You know, this is, I'm committed now. So then went along uh, and worked with a company called Car Vertical, a, a website who helped us bring together this series where we drove each and every one of these five cars. Took a little bit of time because it wasn't easy to find, you know, one that we wouldn't have access to. Uh, we struggled a lot with the Maserati, we struggled a lot with the Bentley. But in the end, we managed to find all of these five cars. We made a video for each one. And the concept was my French audience, um, because this was happening on the French channel, were going to then vote for uh, the, the car that I would pick out of the five. All of that happened, it all went really smoothly. And they voted for the Audi R8. You guys maybe did as well, because I spoke about it a bit on my Instagram, so you maybe saw it, and you maybe voted as well. So you voted for the Audi R8, brilliant. I then had to decide, okay, which which Audi R8? Uh, are we going V8, are we going V10? Are we going, um, you know, the latest model, the facelift or the first model? Uh, so in the end came to the conclusion that the sweet spot for me was the R8 V10 Plus. Sweet spot being 2012 to 2015, which is the facelifted model, um, which I think is, is a lot prettier, but also mainly because it had the double clutch. I really wanted the double clutch and kind of ignored the manual gearbox because on those especially in v10 plus in v10 you get a few um, but even just a facelift v10 is so rare and quite quite a big premium over the double clutch one so kind of put that aside thinking well that's not gonna happen there weren't even any v10 pluses for sale uh, and I don't think there are any in Europe right now anymore <laughs> 
because I was sent by actually someone on Instagram the link to a website called uh, Collecting Cars. It's, it's like an on, online bidding website. Um, so you can bid, it's an, it's an auction basically, uh, but online. And so they have, they actually have some really cool cars, some really niche cars. So they try and find rare cars, um, obviously to attract an audience to the website uh, to, to bid. And they did just that. They had a mint Audi R8 V10 Plus manual. Just under 40,000 miles, but in, in really, really good condition. So I sent this link and I was like, oh my God, wow, okay. And at the time, I think the highest bid was like 47,000 pounds. I was like, look, obviously that's gonna go up. There's only, you know, 15 days or something left on this auction, but it's worth keeping an eye on this. Not only because it's the only one for sale. After a bit of research, I found out that there was only seven manual V10 pluses of that era um, registered in the UK. So no wonder it's the only one for sale. You know, out of those seven, have any been crashed? Uh, modified anything like that so you, you never really know so this car was really really interesting I really like the spec and decided to go see it so I went to see it the owner was was really really nice with us I really really like the car so it's got quite a few miles obviously just under 40 40k but all those miles so there's been two previous owners the first owner only ever really uh, drove that car between London and Manchester uh, on the motorway and you can tell that because like the passenger seat is brand new like it has no wear on it and it's because he would drive it up on a I think it was on a Sunday night and then drive back down on a Friday evening every week in his manual R8 uh, and that's what put a lot of miles on it but obviously didn't put a lot of wear and tear on the car at all then the current well no longer current <laughs> owner um, then bought the car and put 4,000 miles on it and um, now he he just wanted to get rid of the car because he needed capital for something else um, and yeah, so put it up on this on this website, online auction, no one knew what it would go for. I was like, you know, this car, uh, people were telling me this car could go for 85,000 pounds, 90,000 pounds. I was looking for around, you know, 60 to 65 for the, for the double clutch uh, V10 Plus. So I was like, okay, this is, you know, way too big of a premium for me. You know, that's it's not gonna work, but I might as well um, bid. You know, there's not, you're not gonna lose anything. Um, it's so rare. This car is is basically priceless. Um, so let, you know, let's see what happens. I mean, when I say priceless, I mean no one can really put a price on it because you know it's there's none on the market really. So didn't really know what it was going to go for at all. Yeah, and then I put what was the the first bid I put in was fifty thousand. Something like that. Yeah, yeah I put a limit at forty eight or something, wasn't it? Forty eight thousand, but then I I allowed it to go automatically up to fifty thousand if anyone bid. Well, my limit was at 50. I, I knew mentally that my limit was not obviously at 50. I knew I, I could go a little bit higher. So then we go, uh, long story short, we ended up taking a McLaren a 720S Spider. That video will be soon, actually, with Top Gear, won't it? So we took um, 720S Spider around the Top Gear track here in France. Took that car, and then we were doing this road trip on the last day of the auction. So we start this road trip. We had like a seven hour road trip. And uh, I'm driving, 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 and you know I'm watching the bidding go up a little bit. It went from 50 to 52 to 54, five, six, and we were arriving in the evening. The auction finished in French at French time at quarter to nine. Then about quarter past eight, we're still driving, and we're not at the hotel yet. And I'm like, oh my god, okay, this is this is you know going to be an issue. Mainly also because we are in the middle of nowhere right now. We are in the middle of a of a forest basically. I don't even have enough data to load up my my ways on my phone am i gonna miss this opportunity because last time i checked it was at like fifty-eight thousand, and i was like oh that is you know such a good deal at that price i need to keep an eye on this I arrived um at the ho the hotel we were staying at to meet everyone from top gear france uh, because we were going to be working with them and i just i was like i am so sorry there's there's 10 minutes left on, on this online auction and there's this car that I'm really interested in. Um, so we went to the bar, you and I, uh, got a beer and we're like, okay, here we go. Let's do this, um, let's see what happens. Logged on and when I logged on, I think it was at 61,000 pounds. So I'm like, okay, 61,000, there's four minutes left of this auction. I don't see how this is going to go to 85, 90,000, something like that. Um, so I was like, look, I might as well, might as well bid. So put 61.5 and within seconds, bang, went up to 62. 
I was like, okay, here we go. This is there's someone or a few people on this car who really, really want it. You know, there's there's not much I can do about it, but I might as well I might as well keep going. So they put sixty one thousand five hundred. I then put sixty two. Uh, boom! A bid comes in at sixty two five hundred, and then there was one minute left, or like fifty seconds left. It's like, oh, this in this range, it cannot. I don't see it going up any higher. And I said to you, then I? I said. 63 might that's that's it, that's it. Yeah. like i'm putting 63 in and then whatever happens i, I don't want to get carried away these things you know i've heard so many horror stories of people getting carried away that is it end of story so boom that's what we do 63 put it in and then nothing 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 what felt like the longest 30 seconds of my life i, I was watching this timer go by on the website nothing no one's put 63.5 no one's put 64 nothing and then boom, the timer ends, and I just, I remember my phone was right next to the um, to the computer, and I just see an email, collecting cars, uh, so from the website, you know, congratulations, uh, you know, you're, you're, you've got the winning bid, etc., etc. And then we couldn't believe it, I could not believe it, and I didn't know, because your initial, it's weird, your initial feeling is, did I just, is, was that a right decision? Was that the right thing to do? Because now I'm committed, there's nothing I can do now. But then I was like, oh my, I just got that car for 63,000 pounds. I thought it was going to go for like 85. This, you know, this is incredible. This is, and I've, I've just bought a bloody R8 V10 Plus. So I was so excited. But I was like, this is so unusual. How am I going to show the audience, tell the audience? Because this is kind of a fun story I want to share with you guys. Um, so that's what we're doing now. So I'm sure you saw a lot of overlays. The car is beautiful, and uh, before we get back to the UK, I don't know, everything th has been cons uh, confirmed, sorry. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to pick the car up. I mean, I just need to sort out, like, insurance and, and, and uh, put my license plate on the car and things like that, and then go pick it up. So I'm seeing that with the current owner. I'm obviously in Paris. I'm back in London uh, in, like, 48 hours, so I'll deal with it more then. So it, it, the first drive video and all that stuff will come very soon. But I just wanted to tell you guys how it happened, show you the car. You can probably see the spec now, it's probably on screen. Um, it's this beautiful gray color, uh, black interior, you know, full carbon. The V10 Pluses come with basically full uh, carbon anyways. Um, so carbon inside, carbon front splitter, carbon diffuser, carbon side blades, carbon engine bay. Um, yeah, just carbon basically everywhere. Carbon ceramic brakes as well, which have just been replaced. Perfectly uh, mint rims which are in this like sil light silver uh, color which is really nice and yeah i mean you know like any car that's done just under forty thousand miles there's a few little stone chips and things like that on the front but the car is basically mint it's got the uh, upgraded and bang and olufsen sound system so i really like the the car uh, and i'm really excited to to pick it up and um i just can't believe that's the one i mean it's a 500 and 50 horsepower naturally aspirated V10 coupled to a manual gearbox. I mean, that's only really ever been done in the Gallardo. A manual V10 that you can buy, Gallardo, R8, Dodge Viper, and Porsche Crow GT. Those are the four I can, I can think of. And to have one of officially seven in the UK of these V10 Plus manuals feels incredible. So yeah, that is the car. That is my new car, the Alpine has been sold and uh, I'm going to be picking that up probably in the next, what, like 10 days, something like that. I hope soon, you know, the sooner the better. So uh, yeah, that's the, that's the update. Very simple format for this video, but now you're completely up to date and uh, we'll be able to enjoy this car together. So thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little narration of the story on how I ended up in this situation. And thank you as always for your support and for always being right there. We're going into a tunnel right now, so I'm going to probably have to end this. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. I just like the sound.